After a preliminary report surfaced in the media, which appeared to show heavy metals in a sample of real scientific hemp oil, the testing facility has now come out and officially confirmed that the report was preliminary and inaccurate, and the corrected final did not show any heavy metals in the sample of RSHO. On May 8, 2014, Jason Cranford dropped off a product sample of real scientific hemp oil, or RSHO, for heavy metals testing. We were asked to test the sample for both organics and heavy metals. The volume of samples was about one to two milliliters, which is very small, but we went ahead with the test anyway. The procedure for testing for heavy metals is complicated and requires a process called wet ashing. First, heavy metals are introduced into the product sample. Then, the sample must be treated with nitric and hydrochloric acid to present any metals in a semi-liquid form called soluble. This is done to determine the true levels of the substances present. Without this correction, the sample will look like it's testing positive for metals. When the laboratory technician introduced the benchmark results, he, he naturally logged those samples that heavy metals were present. The results on the volatile organic compounds were not included in the preliminary report. These results were released later, and there was no area of concern. Volatile organic compounds were either undetectable or at very low concentrations in the sample of RSHO provided. The preliminary report was provided to Mr. Cranford at his request. The day after he was sent the preliminary report, he was notified that the heavy metal results in the preliminary report were not accurate and he was sent a corrected final report. The final report did not show any heavy metals of the real scientific hemp oil sample provided by Mr. Cranford. Stewart Environmental performs testing at the highest quality. In this instance, Mr. Cranford pressured Stewart Environmental to provide a preliminary report at the earliest possible time. Unfortunately, the preliminary report contained inaccuracies but the final correct report was promptly provided. It is unfortunate that Mr. Cranford misrepresented to third parties that the preliminary inaccurate report was the final one. Anyone reading a report issued by Stewart Environmental that RSHO contained heavy metals should know that this report was preliminary and a corrected accurate report was later issued.